What interviews did you like yesterday? So we saw a lot of interesting ICOs. Uh, there were a lot, a lot of garbage too. We got to be, got to be fully transparent. But there were a couple that stood out uh, from the rest. Polyswarm was really interesting. They are a cybersecurity decentralized platform uh, where you use a decentralized network that incentivizes users to thwart cybersecurity attacks. We thought that was very interesting. Hey, I'm Steve Bassey. I'm the CEO of uh, Polyswarm. We basically do decentralized antivirus uh, using smart contracts on the blockchain. Uh, here at the Miami BTC conference. Uh, it's been great. We've been talking to a lot of people, getting a lot of feedback about um, our product, uh, checking out some other interesting projects. Um, really excited about 2018 in terms of uh, what people are building on top of this concept of a decentralized economy where we can build new solutions to old problems based on the new economics of, of the blockchain and smart contracts. Uh, there was also Atheon, which was a uh, robotic symbiotics company. And that was a tip-off for the, uh... And actually, that's right, uh, JJ. My name is JJ Campusano. You can find me. I have a, a website called jjcampusano.org. And you can also find me on Twitter at Das Grasshopper. And you can also find me on Facebook at JJ Campusano as well. He mentioned that uh, he was one of the original participants in the Ethereum white paper in 2013, so we're talking in it from the beginning. You know, my first actual Bitcoin conference was in Texas in the year 2013. That's when I became involved with the uh, Ethereum project, you know. I met the founder, Vitalik Buterin, in Texas, and um, I got to talk to him about Ethereum when it was only a white paper, you know. Ethereum was nothing but a bunch of pages, 34 pages that I read uh, four years ago. Here I am right now, four years later, um, you know, talking with you guys, uh, Ethereum has had an amazing, amazing growth, as you all have seen. Um, I see a lot of promising things coming up this year on Ethereum. We're about to transition to proof of stake, which is a really, really, the whole blockchain world is watching us right now, you know, on Ethereum, doing that transition from proof of work to proof of stake. And his top pick was Atheum. ICOs are all over the place at the conference. Downstairs, I've seen so many. One of the ones that I really like is Atheon. That's artificial intelligence, robotics. I really like that one. They have a car and it's on a self-driving Jeep, a Rubicon that has a self-driving feature. I think they're doing amazing things with like artificial intelligence. I see a lot of uh, promising um, a future in this ICO and I've seen so many, you know, that have very good projects and I see a very good ecosystem, you know, overall. Is that the car that's outside? They have the yes. Jeep outside. Yes, they have a Jeep outside. I just saw it because I heard about it in the talks and I was just taking a picture. It's a white Jeep that says Atheon, Rubicon. And if you see the, the scratches, the guy said those are the badges of honor in the Jeep. They have a, a bunch of like uh, like scratches and bumps and everything. It looks like bang, but it's, it looks like it's been through hell and back, you know, and that's what I like about it. So we decided to go over to the Atheon booth and check out uh, what they were up to. And they had a really cool display. Uh, it was a robotic symbiotics uh, company, if I believe that's, that's what they were doing. So I'm Andrew Archer, and this is Atheon. Atheon is a business platform for small and mid-sized businesses to automate their back-end processes using artificial intelligence and robotics. Um, a platform we created doesn't require a technical background or need to know how to program, um, which allows a lot of these business owners to get into these technological items but not have to be able to develop them on their own. And it allows them to focus on their core businesses rather than dealing with with all the mundane processes involved. Reception has been great. Uh, a lot of people are really enjoying it. They're and try testing out our piloting program. This is the one of the ways we augment robotics and artificial intelligence is through remote piloting. When a robot gets stuck or doesn't understand the process, a uh, human can intervene and take over and complete the process. So what you're looking at behind us 
is a robotic arm that's being piloted uh, remotely by a user to pour a beverage. So our pre-sale launched last night and is currently live. You can sign up on Atheon.com to pre-buy tokens. Did you say Atheon's your big, the biggest pick for this conference? It's so. my biggest pick for the conference and the ICO just started yesterday and it's gonna last until January the 31st. I'm not an, I'm not a, a founder or anything, but Did I'm gonna invest some? myself. I'm gonna invest myself. It just started yesterday and I'm in the process of actually reading more and most likely investing in it. From the conference, my take, this is one of the most promising ICOs that I've seen so far. So I hope you guys have enjoyed our coverage of the North American Bitcoin Conference from Miami, Florida. For more information on Bitcoin, blockchain, cryptos, ICOs, visit Investitude.com's crypto section, Investitude.com. See you guys later. Muchacha, regresate a la escuela. Niña, no juegues con candela. No instruyes que...